The new Universal Controller Driver, or UCD, allows users looking to drive devices without established printer drivers to quickly get their devices configured and test prints produced without the assistance of Fiery support. The UCD functions as an unlocked driver with several pre-configured print modes, controls, and settings. This video will walk you through the setup of the UCD in both the initial setup of Digital Factory or a later installation, if you get a new printer. After successfully installing Digital Factory, launch the program. As it is the first time launching Digital Factory, you will set the units you intend to use in your workflow, click OK, and complete the registration page. Once registered, you will be asked to restart Digital Factory. After launching Digital Factory again, the Create Queue Wizard dialog will open. Click Next on the first dialog, and the next dialog reminds you to connect your printer and power it on. Click Next. The following dialog titled Printer Defaults is where you will start the printer installation process. Click Install Printer. In the next dialog, you will select the UCD to be installed. In the search field at the top, start typing for Universal Controller Driver. Select the Universal Controller Driver and click OK. In the next dialog, Device Package Search, select Search for New Printer Package from Cloud Server and click Next. This will bring you to the Copying Device Package dialog showing the progress of the download. Once all the progress bars have finished, click Next to be taken to the Printer Port Setup window. From the Port Setup dropdown, select File. The file setting is used for almost all cases. In some circumstances, TCP IP or null will be used, however file is the most common port configuration. Once the port is set to file, click on the ellipses next to the port drop-down menu to adjust the port properties. This includes the output folder, file name settings, and default extension. If your controller software has a hot folder, you can set the folder as the output destination. This way, Printing from Digital Factory results in the file going straight to the controller software. Note that depending on your controller software, you may need to adjust the file extension. These can also be adjusted later from the queue properties within Digital Factory. Click OK and click Next. You are finally brought to the configuration summary, where you will click Finish. The first step is to find a print mode that works. Navigate to the queue info pane located on the right side of the screen. By clicking the drop-down box currently labeled Default, you will see a wide array of print modes that are available. These are labeled after common device settings. The goal is to find one that works with your connected device. Note that it doesn't have to print correctly, just that it must print, and the file opens into your controller software without error. The process should be as follows. Select a print mode from the drop-down menu on the right. Next print a test page by going to the Devices menu and select Print Test Page. This opens a Print Test Page dialog where you will select an image to print for the test. For this example, we'll select the Profile Test Chart. Click OK. This will import the test file into Digital Factory. This can now be printed to the controller software's hot folder, which is configured in the controller itself. If printing to file, you simply select the hot folder as the location for the print. Digital Factory will then print the file. If printing to TCP IP, the address is determined by the controller software. This is often the local host, IP 127.0.0.1. If the file opens into your controller software without error, you can proceed with printing. If an error is encountered, you must repeat the previous process until a working print mode is found. Once a test file has been printed and opened into the controller software successfully, you may see that the colors are incorrect. To correct this, the ink setup must be adjusted to match the print nozzles on the device. To access these options, open the Queue Properties window. This can be accessed by clicking the ellipses on the queue and selecting Queue Properties or double-clicking the Universal Controller Driver Queue tab. Once the window is opened, navigate to the Color Layer section on the left of the window. Select Printer Options and locate the Ink Setup drop-down menu. Like the previous process, the goal is to find an ink setup option that corrects the colors of the test page. Before going through the ink setup options, it is important to check that your controller software does not override color channels. If there are any settings that do so, they should be turned off. 
These override settings are often found in the controller advanced settings. However, many controllers handle this differently, and you will have to locate the settings according to your controller instructions. To select a new ink option, click on the Ink Setup drop-down menu and select another option. It's important to note that when a new ink color model is selected, the white underbase option found in Processing Options is reset to None. You will have to click on Processing Options on the left and reselect Underbase in the White Underbase and Highlights Options section. Click OK to save the change. Using the previous test print process, print the test page again. Repeat the above process until the colors are correct on the test page. If none of the existing ink setup options correct the colors of the test page, a nozzle check process is included in the universal controller driver. To perform the nozzle check, it is important to know how many colors the device can print. If this information is unknown, it can be found through trial and error of the nozzle check process by starting at a higher nozzle check number. To perform the nozzle check, you will select the appropriate nozzle check ink setup option that matches the number of colors the device can output. For example, nozzle check 5 color, nozzle check 6 color, and so on. Print a test page that corresponds to the nozzle check you will be performing. Again, go to the Devices menu and select Print Test Page. From the list, select the file that is named to match the ink setup options. Click OK, and the file is loaded into the queue. With the job selected in the queue, click on Print. Now that the file is printed, collect the print file and reach out to Fiery Tech Support at spsupport at fiery.com with the print file for assistance in having a proper ink setup option created for your device. To create your print mode, open the Universal Controller Driver Queue Properties window by double-clicking the Queue tab itself. Click Create Print Mode located at the bottom of the window. In the resulting dialog, name the print mode as desired and click Save. Click OK to exit Queue Properties. Once completed, your print mode can now be found in the drop-down menu in the Queue Info pane. To export your print queue for other users, navigate to Queue menu and select Manage Queues. Select the queue you wish to export and click on the Export Queue button in the top menu of the Queue Manager window. Navigate to the location you would like to save your print queue. Name your queue as desired and click Save. The newly created queue file can now be sent to other users and can be added to their version of Digital Factory through a drag and drop workflow. The Universal Controller Driver supports a drag and drop workflow for creating print modes with a print data file with either a PRN or PRT file. By utilizing this process, users can save valuable time by having the print mode automatically generated, rather than having to reach out to customer support to have the print mode generated for them. Other ways of loading the print data file include selecting Import File from the File menu, click the Open icon in the top toolbar, or right-click on the queue window and select Import File. For the drag and drop function, if other devices are installed, the Universal Controller Driver must be the actively selected queue. Other queues will not recognize print data files, and an error will display. Once the file has been imported, the Create a Print Mode dialog box will open where you can name the print mode. By default, the name of the print mode is My Print Mode, followed by the resolution, the number of passes, and color channels of the device. Modify the name as seen fit. Once the print mode has been named as desired, click OK. An alert will open notifying you of the successful print mode generation. Once the print mode has been created, click anywhere within the software to update the workspace. The print mode selection will update to the new print mode under the Queue Info window. At any time, you can access the UCD's README documentation by clicking the printer documentation icon with the red outline and exclamation mark. With the information seen here, you should now know the basics of using the Universal Controller Driver and have the ability to generate your own working print drivers to get your shop up and running as fast as possible. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you hit the like button, and if you have any questions, please reach out to us at any time. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos covering digital factory products.